and thanks for tuning in to our Myths and Facts series on sexual abuse and sexual violence. Today we're talking about how it can be shared or commonly believed that if a woman or a man says no, they are just playing hard to get. And I'm sure as I'm saying these words that you may have heard them, whether it's through social media, through movies or television, at school or at parties, that this is a statement that has been said before. What we want folks to understand is that saying no is a verbal expression of saying this is not something that I want to be doing. And saying no is not an invitation to try and change that person's mind. So we want to establish healthy communication when it comes to consent seeking opportunities and sexually intimate moments. The other thing to understand is that saying no can look very different from person to person. So perhaps we're saying no as a verbal expression. Perhaps we are quiet. Maybe our body freezes up. There are multiple ways that someone can say no during a sexual encounter without actually verbalizing that word, N-O. So a good way to, to ensure that consent is happening between two partners is to ask questions. And if someone does say no, to respect that no, not take it as an opportunity to say, I'm going to change someone's mind. Then we're getting into issues like coercion and manipulation. So bottom line, if someone says no, if someone isn't speaking, if you are not getting that beautiful consent filled, yes, I want to be doing this with you then you need to be checking in and ensuring that your behaviors are okay and that the other person is wanting to do those things with you too. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Myth and Fact, and we'll see you next time.